This is how you can use Adobe Express for stop motion. First of all, you'd select text to image and type in the description of the image that you'd like. Next, you can refine the image and it will generate options and you can load more or you could change the graphic type. And then once you've selected your option, it will add it to the canvas. Once your image is added, you can select the image and then duplicate the image by clicking on the image and selecting the duplicate icon in the top left. Once your image is duplicated, one will be the foreground and the other the background. So the image that you want to be the foreground, you can select remove background and now you can use this image to move across each frame. Next, we need to select the background image and remove the car using generative fill. So we can highlight the car and describe exactly what we'd like to happen. So we want to remove the car and replace it with the background. It may take a few attempts, but when you're happy, it should be absolutely perfect. Now that we have our background and foreground separated, we can get on with our stop motion animation. First, we will go over and select media and we'll add audio. This will convert our project into a timeline where we can add extra frames. Next, we will reduce the time of the frame from five seconds to 0.1 second, and then we can reposition our car ready for our first frame and then duplicate our frame. You can then select the foreground and continue to move each frame and then duplicate, moving it along each time. And all that's left to do once you've completed every single frame is to go over to our friends at Pixabay and see if there are any sound effects that you can add to your animation to make it perfect. In my example, I've changed out the background of overridden the original audio and you can export it as an MP4.